confidence i gained wearing this wig has been beyond me okay welcome and welcome to my channel too we're going to be unboxing a wig from ali pearl she's that girl she's chef's kiss they sent me two transparent wig caps okay you need it you need it you need it they sent me some lashes a wig band we always need a wig band and then that brush i end up losing every time they sent me one of those again okay and a wig scarf i need it Ali Pearl all the way, okay? She's that girl, she's that girl. Look at the wig. The specs on this wig is HD Lace 250 density, large cap 24 inches. When I comb my fingers through this wig, when I tell you, not one single hair, okay? This wig comes with an elastic band behind it. I love it, I love it. You need it, okay? Look at that lace. Okay, okay, pre-cut, pre-everything. Okay, you're not going wrong with this one. I love everything about this wig. Now we're going to do the prepping of the wig. I'm gonna put my wig on. I did adjust my wig to the last. I want it tight. That is by preference. You do have space to adjust the wig according to your preference, okay? This is the part that's very important because you are not gonna cut your lace right now. We're going to measure out, make sure that our ear tabs match, make sure that everything is intact, okay? All the hair needs to be to the back because once you put that glue on, you don't want anything messy going around, okay? So we're gonna make sure that everything is nice and smooth. You do get a pre-cut ple ble bleached and pre-styled wig, which makes it kind of easier for you to uh, map out your wig and put that line in the middle. You will see me going around adjusting this wig. That's what I want you to do. You kind of want to see where your edges are going to be, okay? How it's going to look. It's like a preview to the show. That's what you're doing here, baby. Look at that lace. This is what you want, okay? So what we're going to do next is pull that lace to the back because now we're going to apply our glue. While you do this, have your blow dryer running on cold air, okay? Switch it on already so that once you put on the glue, you just start um, pushing it to the front. Now you see what I'm doing here. I'm going to be doing three layers of this. Um, you can decide if you want to do this or not. You can do two layers, one layer depending how long you want your wig to last. I keep my wig on for about a week or two. So this is what I do. While you have it running on cold air, you're going to push the glue to the front. Not to the back, to the front. Because any mistake you make, your wig cap is going to start moving to the back and it's going to be messy. You'll have to start all over again, so you don't want to do this. You're going to do this on both sides. Lay and make sure that before you, up, you apply the next layer of glue, you let that layer dry fully. Fully, babes. Let it dry fully. No tacky, no nothing before you, up, you apply your next um, layer of glue, okay? As you can see me removing any excess of stuff I don't want, like hair, all that stuff. I will also recommend you to clip the hair behind before starting this process. I do not know why I didn't do that beforehand. And make sure your blow dryer is on cold air, running consecutively. You see what I'm doing right there? This is after my three layers and I'm just showing you how tacky it is. The last layer is going to be tacky because that's when I'm going to put my lace down and press it into my scalp, baby. This part is not recommended for everybody. It's preference wise. I prefer doing this because I didn't want to add any um, product on top of the lace. Hence, I have white pillows, I forget, and stuff like that. So I did it under. But even though after I laid the wig, I was like, I don't think I even needed that. But I just did it. It's preference wise. You don't have to because it comes pre tinted, okay? Pre bleached, pre everything. Now, look how I'm laying my wig. You see, I am well aware of where I'm laying my wig because I prepped before. So you're going to make sure you have it running on cold air while you're doing all of this. Press the wig in. Okay, keep it there for a good, do this for a good five minutes. Press it in, make sure it is dry before you apply any other product or any other, anything. 
even the band okay you want to clip your hair to the back so you don't have any trouble especially if you're a beginner for me i'm kind of used to it so i know my way around this look at how late it is already that is what you want to see so make sure you don't skip a step and now you're going to press it into your scalp with a fine comb that's what you want to do and while i'm doing this remember your air your hair dryer is blowing on full speed cold air okay cold air blowing towards your lace so it dries as you press in the lace with your glue Now it's time after we see what we like we see what we want we're going to apply our lace band okay i am using the one that ali pearl sent me i love the tightness and the grip of a new lace band when i tell you it's so exciting it is so exciting i feel this is one of the exciting things that i get to um open up once i receive a wig because i have tons of them because of the amount of wigs i have so you're going to leave that for a good hour. I recommend an hour. You could do 30 minutes. It depends. Keep checking to see if that's what you want. Okay, we're going to wait about 10. We're going to wait about... I personally feel keep the band on for an hour. Keep the band on for an hour. Okay, if you want that lace melt, keep that band on for an hour at least. Or 45 minutes, okay? Once you come back, that lace is going to be laid. It's already laid because this is HD lace. Okay, this is HD lace. And I'm gonna put my discount code and everything in the description box so it makes it easier for you guys to purchase with a liquor discount. When I tell you guys, this is gonna be one of the least wigs you'll ever regret buying. You're never gonna regret buying this wig. Never, okay? Never. Usually people talk about how bad curly wigs shed. When I tell you, this wig does not shed. It does not shed. It does not shed. I've had so many wigs. If you know me, I've had so many wigs. This wig does not shed. It does not shed. Literally. It's HD. Pre-plucked, pre-bleached. All you have to do is put it on. Who has time to be doing all the extra stuff when you can get a pre-bleached, pre-plucked, pre-everything? Okay? Curls, intact, everything. All you gotta do is put it on, cut the lace, and you're on your way. Go by the wig. So now this is my kind of semi-final review because I'm going to be putting on this lace again after removing it right now. So this is what you're going to see. A lot of the people might just have a wide cast as me, meaning I did not wait long enough for my glue to dry. But it's fine. Like I said, I have been through this so many times. I'll show you how to fix it like you've seen in my first video that it's easy, okay? But you're gonna comb back all the excess hair that has pasted to your lace. Remember, be gentle, especially if you have an HD wig, but in, with any wig in general, you wanna be gentle when it comes to your hairline and combing it, okay? You don't wanna push that back, especially if you've already laid it. So comb it out with a nice fine comb. You can always put some mousse on if you find it a little you can always put some mousse on if you find it a little bit hard for you to tackle the hair that has picked the tear lace. For me, it was easy. It's some good old hair. So now you're going to cut your lace in sections, okay? And also, look at that lace. Oh my gosh, I'm just so obsessed. When you're cutting, you do not cut around the hairline. You cut in a zigzag pattern. That's what you want to do. It gives that natural um, lace front situation. If you cut around the head, it's going to look so, oh my gosh, there's the lace. Like I can see it from a distance tight. You don't want that. With any lace, whether it's HD, whether it's not, you do not want to cut around the hairline. Cut zigzag pattern. It's going to give you that natural effect, okay? Now I'm just going to tuck out my ear, my ear tabs.
I want to make sure my ears are outside because now you're going to literally lace. This is where you this is where you use the spritz. I'm also going to link all the products I've used in this video in my bio below with the shops you can get it from, the packages. I'm going to direct you how to get there. But this is how you're going to lay the extra pieces that did not catch no glue or nothing. You're not going to add no glue or nothing. You're going to add spritz. That's what you're going to add, okay, to literally melt in your lace. Like I said, if you have that issue, use mousse to lift the lace that has the, the edges that have pasted to your lace. Look at the final result. This hair is so full. Oh my gosh, this hair is so full. Like, I have curly hair. I have curly hair. But this, this, this is nice. This is a 22 inch foo, babes, foo, okay? 22 inches. Oh yes, baby, it is at the back. Oh yes, baby, it is at the back. It is, like, this is so full. And this, I don't know, you can lift it up if you feel like it. Because the clip over here, you don't fold over. You can't see no nothing. No lace, no nothing. You can do what you do this, okay? This way, this life. love how full this wig is it does not even look like it's about to tangle at all at this point usually they start to give us problems but this wig is boss this wig is boss baby this wig is boss okay and it didn't even take me that long to install this wig if you guys want a detailed video on the products that i use how long you're supposed to leave the product on all that good stuff do let me know in my comment section down below and i will get back to you guys in a timely manner I'm not